Another old age death wedge. Wherever you are out there, you died of old age in your bed. Unfortunately, after you suffered that neck injury and fell into a deep vegetative state, you were never able to move again. And your cat right there stayed by your side. We're going to slaughter your cat now. Uh, we don't need a stray cat running around when we've got plenty as is. Needless to say, your cat is old and also unable to take care of itself, so it would just be torture and cruel to let it run around on its own. It'd probably end up starving to death somewhere. The rest of the vault is still walking around training. And actually, how about we go ahead and get this next match started. This match is going to be between Kelderon. Kelderon 13. I'm, he's getting old and I'm worried that he's probably going to die. I assume he's getting old anyways. And you're going to sleep on the ground. And we're going to get Kelderon here and send him down into the arena. Let's see. Yep, he's already set up there. So we'll station you here, Kelderon. And get you to come over here. It's 5th Granite 169 early spring. And I think this is the fifth round. And it's going to be Kelderon's life on the line. We'll see where he is. What's he doing? I'm not sure if he'll have to go get in all of his gear or if he's already got it. He shakes Jonas's hand on the way down. Tells him how much of a good friend he's been through all the years. <sighs> this could be the end for Kelderon. All these years of training, this empire that he helped build up, we'll more or less give him complete credit for it since he led the expedition here, even if he didn't get voted expedition leader once they arrived. And once he gets down over the bridge, we'll pull the lever and seal him off down there. There's not going to be any other champions down there waiting for backup. Let's pause it. Kelderon has no pets. All of his dogs have died from old age. And we'll take a good, long, hard look at Kelderon before we start the arena match here. I want to see who pulls this lever. Who's the judge, rocking wisely? Kelderon's life is sealed off by your hands now. And he's down there. So let's check out Kelderon one last time here, maybe. It depends. He could win. There's only one person walking out of this arena alive. Let's see, you are ultra mighty, perfectly agile, super vault dwellerly tough, uh, proficient marksman. I think you were training that up before I switched you back to your primary weapon. Legendary armor user, grower, engraver, record keeper, wrestler, shield user, hammerman, butcher, mason. You've done it all, my friend. Let's see, an iron tesla armor, iron super sledgehammer, and some high quality steel gauntlets and boots on so you don't lose your toesies and fingers. Let's see. 11 notable kills, dating all the way back to 133. It didn't take you too long to get started killing, but you did have a long drought. Until you got probably drafted into the military and sent outside, or... No, I think you might have started your life in the arena then. So you're another arena champion that's risen up through the ranks here, that's right. And let's see, you've got one pet, your dog's dead, all these friends... Rest in peace, Hippo Man. And then Gargles, rest in peace to you. So all those people know you. But enough. Enough talking about you. Let's get this lever pulled here. And who's gonna pull this lever and let the let the beast loose? Han Solo, you're gonna die from old age in there too, in that bed, aren't you? He's been shuffled all around the vault for who knows how long. Two decades? Three decades now? I know it didn't take him very long to get injured and thrown into bed. This next fight will probably not be very long either. I would imagine that once they see each other and go to blows, it'll be whoever can land the first one. 
and Wedge, your pet, has been passed on and sent to the afterlife with you. And fan for Civ, you pulled that lever there. Let's scoot the camera back over this way just a little bit. And Kelderon, prepare to see your 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 opponent. We're locked onto you. You're gonna be stationed here. And you're gonna patrol just in case it starts running around. You're gonna patrol all through here. The lever is pulled. And the beast is released from its cage. Right? No? Perhaps not. Did I not hook the lever up? That's kind of sad, if, if so. I guess I didn't hook it up. Okay, Kelderon. Well, we've got your patrol point set up here. Let's... Let's see who Kelderon's gonna fight. Who are you gonna go against, Kelderon? The lever's been sent to be pulled if it hasn't been pulled. And Kelderon bursts through the door. There's the cage. When will it open up and unleash its wonderful prize? And there's a dog over there. Whose dog was that? That was somebody's pet, right? Yeah, that was somebody's pet before they died over there. I think it was Cuz Pro. Bam! The cage burst open, and depressed stop the good stroke burst forth, still missing his right eye with brain damage. Kelderon sees him, his old nemesis. This is what you've been training for, Kelderon, your entire life. The spider. Maybe not this exact spider, but the giant cave spider nonetheless. The only question is, does your sword, does your hammer have this spider's name on it? You'll stare each other down, and then charge. The spider takes off, trying to make it outside your range of attack. It turns around, you slam it against a tree, it shoots its web at you. You've broken and battered it, beaten its legs in. It hasn't managed to lay a, a single fang or, or leg on you, you shatter it. You hit it with your sledgehammer and it explodes into dozens of pieces. There's his right second leg, his right third leg, his right first, left third leg, there's his other leg. You squashed him like a bug, like he was. <sighs> Kelderon, but are you bleeding? No, you're not. It's just red on the floor. Doesn't look like you're hurt. So, well, congratulations, Kelderon. All these decades of training and you did it. You killed the spider. Press stop, the good stroke, the giant cave spider. Are you ecstatic? Ecstatic lately. Took joy and slaughter. A wonderful drink. She took a sip of the spider's blood. So we'll pull the lever and get you back upstairs. And now I don't have to worry about either you dying of old age, unfulfilled, or the spider dying of old age in its cage, unfulfilled. And you run through its web wrapping it around your face getting one last scent of the last spider ever to grace bitten labor the dog watches on in awe